Yeah, but then again, I'm not good at math, no. So. Ma is because you're Malay. Ni rabak bro. I cannot come, bro. Aku pelakon yang cakap wah. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Social Circle. My name is Aisha. I'm Fatin Amira. I'm Salif. I'm Faris. And I'm Hasif. Hasif. How Malay are you? I would say I'm fully Malay, 100%. 100%? My grandmother on my mom's side is Chinese. But then she was adopted by Malay family. I don't practice any like Mandarin or whatnot, you know. It's just Malay. It's just my blood lah. I feel like the feature of like being Sopan Santun is something like quite traditional. Sopan Santun, like the Adat, all this is something that like the Malays are well known of and it's slowly fading off. Well, this, that's very you, very Sopan, very gentle. It's very hasty qualities lah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I can't talk to him, guys. I just can't. I don't want to see him anymore. Forget it, yeah. Thank you, Aisha. But okay. Okay, I am 200% Malay, in and out and in and out. Okay, and I'm very, very proud to be a Malay. Kita go overseas, for example, lah, like London or whatever, right? And then they always say, "Where you from? Singapore?" I say, "Oh, I'm Malay." So, wow, Malay. Yes, I'm. I, I, I love to say that I'm Malay because I feel that tak ada salahnya. Kenapa kita kena malu menjadi mm -hmm. seorang anak jati Melayu? There's a saying yang takkan Melayu hilang di dunia. So, I think that we should be really, really proud dan bangga dengan kita punya bangsa sendiri, kita punya orang sendiri. Kenapa kita kena rasa macam bau Melayu itu kental? Tak, tak best. Apa, kan? Ha, kita kadang-kadang macam I, I macam jatuh biasa Eh kau puji diri sendiri eh Masuk baku angkat sendiri Dia macam Eh kau peribahasa eh Why? Like it is Our language We should be proud of it So what about you guys? You proud to be Malay? Uh, how many percent? <laughs> I'd say The percentage thing I think I Right in the middle 50 ya. Oh wow You're 50 yeah, Because my dad is Indian But then his heritage Is very complicated also His grandfather is an Indian from India Grandmother is a Chinese from China But both adopted into Muslim family And then they Met. That so, so that's my dad. Though. Yeah, that's my dad. Then my mom is Malay. So, 50 yeah, half half. Then your means your IC is what? Indian. Wow. You don't follow father. Mm. Tell me about you. Yes, uh, I'm also uh, Australian. I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also quite complicated. My mother is Malay, my dad is Australian, but my mom also ada lah. They punya mix in there. My IC. For the longest time, my first one when I was 16, right? 15, 16, right? It wrote Australian. Pasai ko bapa aku. The hell, Australian? Yeah. Like, Help me! Australian <laughs> is not a race, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Singapore, especially because of the way that the country turned out, at one point, everyone had to make a decision, kind of like which culture you wanted to follow. The Malay culture sort of really stemmed from the Islamic faith as well, so it became really synonymous, right? In Singapore, I would tell, always tell people that I am Malay. I'm very proud to tell people that I am Malay. People normally to Pranja is when they hear me speak Malay. Ah. That's the part where we talk report. Eh, tak fikir je aku Melayu. Buat Melayu je. Oh my god. Kita mau masuk ke mana? And I'm proud of that. Because I had to work on that. The Malays, I think when I was in school, you know, they always look at me like that. Ah. Like, ni mak salih mana? You know what I mean? My dad is Arab and my mom is Chinese. My parents, they split when I was younger. So I'm Arab by blood, but I'm not like really Arab. I don't feel like I relate to it at all. Last time kan, they, they have this thing where it's like, kalau kau nak cakap kau mix, kau kira macam action. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you like, no, don't, want to, don't want to say, kalau Melayu just say Melayu lah. But it's like, but like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you know? So it was a very strange thing. But then again, there are people macam that you meet, they really step, you know, like, yeah, I'm Malay, but I'm 3% Dutch, 4% Portuguese, half Brazilian also. Ronaldinho, yeah, my friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, IG profile and put like a lot of flags, like yeah, mix, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Or mix. You have to tell like I'm mix. There was a period in my life where I wasn't proud to be Malay. So every time people ask me like, bro, you Malay? I'm like, no, my father Indian. Oh yeah, then my mother Malay. You know, like you say all the mix, 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 then the end is like, yeah, Malay. I had quite a traumatic experience. Uh. I'll share a bit. Like back then I had a girlfriend. We were on the verge of breaking up already. She didn't tell her dad about me. So I had to meet her father for the first time uh, and say like, hey look, I'm dating your daughter. Like, are you okay with this or not? I went to the father's office and then we had a chat. But the moment I sat down, right, I already knew this guy didn't like me because of the colour of my skin. And that sucks. I hated that so much. I met him for like less than five minutes. But the whole conversation just went like the other way. Like, I might as well not have come and we though? broke up because of that. Huh? What did he say? Well, he was like sugarcoating it. Like, say like he doesn't allow his daughter to date because she's not ready for a relationship. But I was in NS already, you know. I was like finishing NS, going to university, that transition phase. Lah. So I took that very, very personally, you know. So I hated to be Malay. I will say now that I'm proud to be Malay because like, you shouldn't hate yourself because of the colour of your skin. It just doesn't make sense. You're born that way. You should, you should embrace yourself. Do whatever you want to do. 
embrace your culture, you know? I can totally relate to the story about like the interracial relationship Same. thing, right? Been yeah. Been there about the t-shirt. My ex, Punya's sister, really, really did not like me at all. And it was definitely because of my skin colour. And the worst part, right, is that like to me, I feel like I am also Chinese, you know what I mean? So how can you like, you just disregard that you see me for our differences instead of like our similarities. Every time she fights with her brother, who's my ex, right, they will say much um, ah, okay lah, do whatever you want you're gonna get married under the void deck. Like privilege. Like, ah, privilege, yeah, correct, correct. So that was really, really hurtful. Lah. You know, when I was in the NS, I was in police NS. And police NS, the joke is, uh, enlistment day is the only place in Singapore where Malays are majority. <laughs> and it's true, when you look at the, the crowd, eh, really, you know, I'm from a mixed background. What they did for me was really, for the first time in my life, I was put in with all the Malays. Unfortunately, this big problem that I saw was that, you know, a lot of us, our self-esteem level naturally is, is quite low. In this uh, life, I'm only going to make it to this far. Because and, you're Malay? Uh, because you're Malay. And, and because, you know, syukur lah, okay lah, cukup lah, you know. When I'm about 21, I got a job as a chemical engineer in um, Jurong Island in an um, oil and gas company. It was my first year as a fresh grad. Ada baru ada degree, baru nak bermula lah, nak bertapak dalam this whole career. Macam, yes ah, this is it, this is what I've studied so hard for. Ada pergi London, nak belajar, dapat tak balik Singapore, nak make my mother proud. Okay, this is it. Sekali, bila masuk dalam first day of kerja tu, semua is orang lain bangsa. So I am the only Malay and perempuan and muda. Habis, that's it. You can imagine how torturous my life is. There was this one job that I had to go out of the chemical plant. And then they said, uh, kau pergi lah, pergi sana, pergi go and take the measurements and the readings and everything of this tank. I wanted to do, so bila patah balik, I report to my superintendent which is of another bangsa. And then this superintendent was saying, you sure no? This one correct. You Malay or Airways anyhow one na. Eh, kau rasa Melayu macam gini eh? Aku tunjukkan kau lah, kita boleh buat. So when I go out, kadang-kadang kita naik grab eh. Alhamdulillah, I have a store now. Kadang-kadang, eh, selit eh. Kadang-kadang kita naik grab, grab macam, this one your shop lah. Kadang-kadang, it's as simple as that. Tak payah nak jauh-jauh pergi Jurong Island. Naik grab, this one your shop lah. Ya, nak balik rumah eh. Ya, why eh? Wah, you Malay, not bad lah. Got shop all. But you see, this is why we can prove to them. Kita payah prove anything pun sebenarnya. Kita dah hidup okay dah, dah sedar happy dah dengan diri sendiri. It's amazing to see how Melayu semua support Melayu. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm fortunate enough not to experience any, you know, racial discrimination. Zero. Yeah. That's insane. It's yeah, it's because like I, I don't know because like. Insane, ma. Grasa. No, even like when I, when I was young, like primary school and all, right? Like, I was always like, you know, you know how like people from cliques and all. So I'm always like the middle though. Like I have like. I, I'll join the, the, wow, the Malay groups. Wow, everybody love you, man. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. It's just that honestly, I've never felt that like, because you are, you know, you are, you are this color and. Partly because I'm quite fair back then. So like there are some confusion. Yeah, so like when you're talking about skin colour thing, right? I feel like now there's this whole thing where macam you cannot point out somebody's race. That, hey, you cannot say this guy, you know, the Malay one. To me, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a racist thing. Mm. Everyone is just like, hey, you say this are racist. Hey, you say they like to play soccer. It's racist. We need to celebrate these differences, you know? People want to build a homogeneous society. Mm. Everyone is equal. Everybody is the same. What's going to happen in the future if you do that? Then we lose culture, we lose our differences, everybody's the same, there's nothing interesting anymore. I feel like there is this obsession with race in Singapore and I think we need to start moving past that and how you can move past that is like I, what Aisha said, I feel, you know, it's so true. Like if you meet someone, right, and you don't know the orang punya race, it's like you can't tell, ah, sir. Oh, can I ask like where you're from? Can I ask like yeah. what is the heritage, the heritage here? I like yeah. to say what is the heritage? Correct, correct. You know, what what's going on here? Yeah. And then you know, then all of us then slowly as a society will collectively create these, you know, these wonderful images of who we are and what makes our DNA. And that uniqueness in everyone will start to form the whole way that we look at it. I don't agree with this whole much um take race out of everything. Don't see somebody for their race. No, see me for my race because that is what makes me different. That is what makes me special. You can identify as a certain race, but that race does not define you. It's important to find that safe space for yourself and the people that you surround yourself with. Mm. Why we even have this perception? Sebenarnya datang daripada mana? Dia datang daripada generasi sebelum kita. Generasi Datuk Nenek yang mungkin, ya yeah, kita memang dalam Singapore like what you said, we are diverse and everything. Tetapi kita ni manusia, kita tak boleh lari. Kita rasa kita diri kita ni lagi bagus daripada orang lain. So, it comes as a race. Oh, kita rasa kita lagi bagus daripada race sana, race sana, race sana. So, ini mindset ni turun temurun daripada tak tahu zaman bila sampailah sekarang. So, what we need to do that we can change the perception for our future generation ialah kita bermula daripada sekarang, jatuh cinta dengan bangsa sendiri 
sendiri tak kisahlah Cina, Melayu, India dan sebagainya Tetapi bila kita dah jatuh cinta dengan bangsa kita sendiri Kita akan kira-kira bangkitkan kita, diri kita dan buat yang terbaik Untuk tak, nama, tak malukan nama bangsa, tak malukan nama mak bapak dan tak juga uh, malukan nama keluarga Dan oleh itu kita boleh progress satu kali sebagai uh, satu bangsa Wherever you are, just really fall in love with your own people first Sebelum you nak jatuh cinta dengan bangsa orang lain Hasif Like <laughs> but we have to agree that this thing, this issue is uh, deep and complex. It's not something that you can just, you know, uh, set the rules and all. I believe that we need to talk about it. You can always call out, like, if someone is, uh, that's not nice to say it for a certain race. You know, you have to tell why. Because most of these commenters are ignorant, you know, because they, they, are, they don't mix around with other races. So that's why they are like that. So they have like their mentality. Because I think back then people don't really talk about it. Cuma, eh, uh, tengok ah, they like that. Dia memang bangsa tu apa? Ah, maci, maci, hasil aku. So I think this is healthy to engage. But of course you have to be objective about it. You know, not just cakap kosong and just keep complaining ah like that, like that. And then I'm, I'm like this because I'm this race. So we have to individually improve ourselves lah. I feel like in today's day and age, with the kind of access that we have to information. I feel our generation definitely no excuse ah. Like yes. <laughs> really no excuse. No one we have is no born excuse. racist. Yeah. Even if you don't care, you know, like then just don't say anything ah. <laughs> you keep hearing this thing oh, I go educate yourself, educate yourself. Fine. If you don't want to educate yourself, okay, I just just keep quiet ah like that. And just Maybe there are some stereotypes with being Malay, like, you know, like people say, Oh you Malay, you're probably not so smart, not good at maths. These kind of things that people commonly associate and like somehow people think it's okay but as a Malay person like if you hear this kind of things it shouldn't limit you you know you should just like somehow find the strength to block that out so you imagine this like this person say that because you're Malay your potential is limited but you believe in yourself enough you work on yourself and you achieve something and you can show them well you see I'm Malay but I'm doing all these things I have all these achievements regardless of my race I totally agree and also like you know surround yourself with people that you want other people that you want to be like or you want to emulate, you know, you surround yourself with the people that, that <laughs> you know, like for real. There's so many talented Malay people around here. Like, look at you guys. You guys Thank are doing you. your own thing. Right. Thanks, bro. But yeah, ever since I like first day on set was like really my first experience with like really Malay people. And I hear sure. you guys doing all yeah. Oh. oh you guys doing all your fantastic things. Then I reflect back like oh I actually had a lot of talented Malay friends. But I just overlooked because I hated that part of my life. I feel like it's so funny because this show is it, right? But this connection is invaluable to me, you know, because I just feel so much more inspired knowing that my other, you know, my fellow Malays are going out there, kicking butt and like fighting for their dreams. Actually, this is true, you know. On the first day of shoot, right, when we were going home, Salif asked me, he was like, Hey, actually where you find all these people? Everyone is so cool, man. And I'm like, Actually, Salif, I, I know one thing you can do. You want to keep that connection, right? You should reply your WhatsApp message. Then we can all hang out. <laughs> no, you don't say people, you also don't reply. <laughs> Only Hasif replies. <laughs> Hello, hello, and me. <laughs> okay, semua terima kasih sebab telah menonton episod kali ini. Kita akan melaburkan tirai. Tetapi jangan lupa untuk like, subscribe dan juga klik bell icon yang ada di sini untuk dapat notifikasi yang terbaru untuk episod pada malam ini. And shout out to our venue partner, Macpherson Photo Studio, the best place to capture your special moments. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Jumpa lagi. Mama, mama, mama.